Hi, Ricky. Let me try to uh, respond to your uh, uh, keep the environment clean document. Uh, let me tell you this. I've got to be quick because I'm almost at work. But um, the when I was a, a young man, young, a young man, I was a boy <laughs> growing up in Southern California in the um, s early 70s and or late 60s, trash was all over the place. I remember my father telling me especially how uh, in, this, in the early 60s and late 50s, trash was everywhere, litter was everywhere. Uh, people just threw things out the window and it was really bad. A, a tr transformation occurred, I don't know exactly what happened, maybe it was the hippie, hippie movement, or maybe a better, a greater consciousness of, uh, of, uh, of ecology happened and uh, it, it all cleaned up. For the most part, um, and now um, you know you don't you know I haven't been back for a while, but I remember the streets were clean. They're not as clean as here in Japan. I mean, these streets are clean, uh, very clean, uh, because people basically tend to, every individual here tends to their front yard, and, and, and they take care of their own little area. But Japan is so Japan looks clean in, in an urban setting, but you go out in the woods in the wilderness, especially the beach, and it's just filthy. In fact, Mount Fuji. They, they, the international board that governs, you know, cultural world heritage sites wouldn't allow Fuji, Mount Fuji, to be on the register because it was just so dirty. People climbing Fuji would just throw their trash everywhere. So in Japan, they have a disregard for, they have their regard for cleanliness extends to their own personal domain. So this house right here, this person here would take care of all the trash around the front of their house. And likewise, the guy here as well. So it's a cultural thing that works in an urban environment, but it fails utterly in a uh, in a rural setting where people just throw trash everywhere. They still do, um, but it's decreasing. So um, in my own case, I saw that change. I lived through that transformation in the United States in Southern California, as people became more aware, um, and there were I mean, people basically just talked. They became concerned about the natural environment, and they stopped throwing trash out the window. They stopped uh, leaving piles of trash by the side of the road, um, you know, as they did out in the country setting in Southern California where I live sometimes. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. Like I said, I've got to uh, wrap it up quick. So I think I think the best way to effect, uh, to keep, to effect change such that our environment uh, in, in cultural settings, uh, so that environments are cleaner, is on a cultural by culture basis. Uh, if, if a greater consciousness comes about, about the value and the importance of keeping the, nat uh, the natural setting clean, not just, uh, or the urban setting as well, as, as is the case here in Japan. The Japanese have the value for the urban thing, they do. They don't care so much about the about the rural stuff. The Americans, uh, well, I'm an American, the Americans uh, uh, have probably a re reverse. We're more concerned about, <laughs> about, the, uh, about the, the national parks, the forests, the, the country roads, and we hate to see trash out on, out on a beautiful country road, but we're probably less, a little less concerned about the urban stuff. We kind of expect the cities to be a little bit dirty, but we expect our wilderness to be crystal, to be clean. Um, so what, uh, on a case-by-case -case basis, culture by culture, if they can begin to see the value of that, the importance in terms of health, in terms of uh, preserving resources, in terms of uh, maintaining a, a, a basically a cleaner, more beautiful, uh, and healthier environment, then uh, we can affect it. They'll, they'll find a way if they have the value. So I guess we have to instill the values first or help, or help the values be instilled on an individual basis, individually one by one, and then share that with those we care with uh, about love and uh, spend our time with. Values first, cleanliness second. Take care, friend.